Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Alert. Russia sends shock message to Trump, says not giving up Crimea proves media 100% wrong. The Trump administration could be heading toward a major showdown with Russia after Russian President Vladimir Putin's government said it refused to give back the territory it took after invading the Ukrainian territory of Crimea, Reuters reported. Russian officials said this week that they were going to rebuff the Trump administration's demand to return the territory they annexed in 2014. Moscow has long defended the annexation pointing out that the region overwhelmingly voted to join Russia. Critics contend, however, that the plebiscite over Russian rule was rife with intimidation. We don't give back our own territory. Crimea is territory belonging to the Russian Federation, said Maria Zakharova, a spokeswoman for the Russian Foreign Ministry, according to Reuters. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov echoed those sentiments. The theme of returning Crimea will not be discussed Russia does not discuss its territorial integrity with foreign partners comma Peskov said on a conference call when asked by reporters about comments from White House press secretary Sean Spicer. Spicer had said Tuesday that the White House expected the Russians to give Crimea back to the Ukraine. It was the latest incident in a week that seemed to explode the media and Democrat Party narratives involving the Trump administration being overly cozy with Russia. According to Fox News, the Russian spy ship Viktor Leonov was spotted 30 miles of an American submarine base in Groton, Connecticut, where it was loitering in international waters. ABC News reported on Wednesday that the ship had moved to the waters off of Norfolk, Virginia site of another major naval base. We are aware of the vessel's presence, comma, Lieutenant Colonel Valerie Henderson, a Defense Department spokeswoman, told NBC. It has not entered U.S. territorial waters. We respect freedom of navigation exercised by all nations beyond the territorial sea of a coastal state consistent with international law. It also came out this week that Russian jets had buzzed the deck of an American destroyer in the Black Sea. So, just so we re clear. Trump and Putin are set to have a showdown over Crimea and Russia's military is trying to intimidate the Trump administration. But, to the left Trump is a puppet of the Kremlin. Make sense to you? Me neither. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on this Russia showdown. What do you think these developments say about the media's coverage of the Trump administration? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.